This presentation shows the geomechanical numerical modeling of first, a deep excavation, and second, the asymmetrical loading of a tunnel in clay. Let's assume that you are building a subway station and you have constructed your retaining wall with deep soil mixing and you've reached the elevation of the excavation shown on the left side of this picture and that the geotechnical conditions at the site involve alternating layers of sand and clays that are saturated. If you deepen the excavation and install a strut which you pre-stress, when you're pre-stressing the strut, what you're doing is you're pushing into the saturated clay and compressing mainly the water that is in the pores of the saturated clay. This is equivalent of trying to compress a beverage can without opening it first. All the load goes into the liquid that is inside of the can. If you were going to model these deep soil mixing structure and strut loads using springs, because the water is nearly incompressible, you would have very stiff springs for the saturated clay and relatively soft springs for the sand layers where the water pore pressures or the excess pore pressures dissipate very quickly. As time progresses, the water from the saturated clay is going to be pushed out and the pore pressures are going to dissipate as the water flows into the more permeable sand layers. What this means is that, relatively speaking, the saturated clay will become softer and the sand layers will be comparatively much steep, stiffer. This means that the bending moments as well as the strut forces are going to vary with time. In the video that is going st to start momentarily, you will see the evolution of pore water pressures in the ground as an excavation is being performed and struts are being installed and pre-stressed. Please note that I'm only showing half of the excavation and that the dewatering has already been performed inside of the deep soil mixing walls. First stage of excavation, strut being placed. Second stage, the second strut being placed. Third strut, please note the flare that took place when the strut was being installed. Fourth strut and a large change in pore water pressures immediately next to the strut installation. This video shows the strut forces and the bending moments as a relatively fast excavation is being performed. The amount of strut force is shown by the thickness of the strut line. In the next example, I'd like to show you a tunnel that will be asymmetrically loaded. There is sandy materials permeable near the surface and below that there is relatively impermeable clays. The groundwater is roughly at the base of the sand layer or immediately above the clay layer. The clay layer is being is completely saturated. For the modeling that I will show you, 
it involves a large surface load that is being installed asymmetrically at the ground surface. Please note that due to this load, just like in the example before, the main effect is going to be to compress the clay and create groundwater pressures. These groundwater pressures are going to load the tunnel by pushing on the tunnel lining. This video shows the evolution of the bending moments on the lining for the asymmetrical case that we saw in the previous video. The change in the bending moments is due to both the surface load being applied to the surface as well as the increase in pore water pressures uh, on the clay surrounding the tunnel. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on numerical modeling. And on behalf of everyone at Group Delta, I want to thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.